Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Hang on. Um. Yes. Uh, so, uh, stopwatch. There we go. Okay. That that way I know what I've done. Um. What what, what I uh, plan on doing is um reading uh, some poems and then sitting down again. Terrific. That's that's the basic Terrific. plan. Okay, so if, if I mean if there's any any alternate suggestions at this point, uh, go for it. No, okay. You okay, can we're sing. Gonna do that. Sing. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. Sing and dance. Okay, we've had two requests already uh, there, so let, let's get those out of the way. Uh, that's that's the, that's the uh, contemporary interpretive dance for you there. Uh, a little bit of singing. Uh, a frère Jacques, a frère Jacques, a um, so there we are. And that, that also incorporates un petit bit of uh, French. So I feel like I've covered all that there. I don't need to indulge that any further. Okay. Um, I'm going to begin with this uh, this poem here. Uh, Madam, could you could you shuffle those for me, please? Um, this this is the, uh, a poem I like to start with because it's quite a good one to begin with because it uh, doesn't matter if you're not listening at this point. It doesn't matter if you're not paying any attention because the poem, there's not really a lot to it. It's simply celebrity tittle-tattle. It's just gossip. Uh, that's all it is. It's, oh, thank you very much. It is essentially... Um, uh, 2,000 years of heat magazine, I don't know the French, I don't know the French equivalent, uh, compressed into a few minutes of contemporary rhymed English verse. And because I do this poem quite a lot, I'm incredibly bored of it. Um, and so what I've done to make it more interesting for me, I've written each stanza, each verse on, on a card here, and I get a beautiful member of the audience to shuffle it uh, most times. And... Um, <laughs> And then, and then it's all new and it's fresh for me. It makes absolutely no difference to any of you who've never heard it before. But for me, it makes it seem a little bit more alive. And because it's a, uh, a random order poem, because it is a, uh, a product of a stochastic uh, mechanism, if you will, um, it just begins. There's no build-up. It just starts. Uh, and then it goes along for quite a while, <laughs> and then it just stops. There's, there's no way with a random uh, order poem like this to build up to a climax. It will just stop. There is going to be no climax tonight. It will just stop at some point. Okay, so I just want to warn you about that in advance. I don't want you to be disappointed. That is simply the way it's going to go, okay? Here we go, okay. Uh, Karl Marx excelled at darts, treble 20 every time, even over his shoulder. The brothers Grimm had a younger twin, to whom they always said, we'll tell you when you're older. Diane Fossey was notably bossy. The apes all pretended not to understand a thing, whereas Jane Goodall did all she could all the time to make her chimp days go with a swim. Abraham Lincoln <laughs> would have one drink and dance around the whites with his trousers undone. Haile Selassie designed his own chassis on the first trip out, drove over a nun. Oh no, that one won't make any sense. Eric... <laughs> Eric von Daniken stands like a mannequin in the lingerie departments of department stores. Richard Burton's hid behind the curtains, wearing a skirt and ladies' drawers. Mary Shelley only had one welly. When the rain came down, she hopped everywhere. Alexander Pope would dangle from a rope to keep his feet dry since he always kept them bare. Benjamin Britten was inordinately smitten when he heard the Bee Gees singing his songs. Rafe Vaughan Williams earned himself millions by becoming the inventor of things and thongs. 
<laughs> David Bowie doesn't really know he invented Dada in 1917. Andre Breton is getting a sweat on, bombarded by gamma rays, is turning rather green. Oscar Wilde was regularly riled when people in the street started quoting his wit. Noel Coward teeteringly towered when passing through Pisa on a holiday flit. Dame Judi Dench has got her own bench, which only she can sit on by the serpentine. Boris Johnson is my best chum because he put Dame Judy's bench next to mine. <laughs> you know, a few Dame Judy fans in here tonight, that's, that's good to see. Uh, John Updike had a BMX bike and his best bunny hop won a Pulitzer Prize. <laughs> Philip Roth interrupts with a cough saying skateboards are better for a man his size. <laughs> Bertrand Russell had a little tussle with the vicar who presided on his wedding day. Stephen Fry doesn't even try, his brain just knows the biggest words to say. The Dalai Lama has only one pyjama, he irons it for hours to get a nice crease. Lady Chatterley recently and latterly been bit... whatever. Um, <laughs> no. Some... So, uh, uh, the, 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 probably foreign people in here won't understand all of these. I have to check some of these. Let's try this. Uh, Henry VIII had no mates. He had them all killed when they laughed at his lisp. In this business, a groan is as good as a laugh. So, um, uh, Stuart Lee was stung by a bee, though on closer inspection it might have been a wisp. Uh, a, a, a wasp. Uh, Terry Gilliam read just William and learnt all he needed about the English race. Terry Jones never uses phones. If you need to get in touch, leave a message on his face. <laughs> Book page. <laughs> Sigmund Freud would get annoyed when people pointed out he was mostly wrong. Wittgenstein at almost any time would entertain a widow with a comic song. If Igor Stravinsky purposefully winks, he sends out a memo three weeks in advance. When Bill Bailey pretends she's a male, he dresses up in trousers, declines every dance. Ainsley Harriet, you don't know who Ainsley Harriet is. <laughs> no, 19th century English politics, that won't work. No, don't do that one either, they don't know. Who. No, Ian Jury, that won't work. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Ian Jury? Yeah, okay. Ian Jury. <laughs> <laughs> no, never mind. Come see me in the interval, we'll work it out. Uh, Sinead O'Connor. Yeah. We'll fight for the honour of almost anything. <laughs> Bridget Bardo doesn't seem to know any difference at all between this and that. Johnny Depp, physically a wreck. He's only held together by sellotape and string. Robert De Niro can count up to zero by using his fingers and his toes and his thing. <laughs> Rain mares won't work. Uh, J.R.R. Tolkien liked to go walking, singing to himself all the songs from Cats. Plato and Homer met while in a coma, astrally projecting they were only wearing hats. Salvador <laughs> Dali shot on safari, an elephant, a rhino in his own left foot. Seamus Heaney was really quite teeny. He'd climb up the chimney to eliminate the soot. Hildegard of Bingen... Yes. <laughs> Lives on a wing and a prayer and a promise of the paradise to come. Julian of Norwich was swallowing her porridge, told Hildegard of Bingen to shove it up your bum. <laughs> <laughs>